Hello, good sunny evening to you all and welcome. So I have got some, uh, I've been gardening today, it's been really nice, I've been out in the sunshine, um, got a little bit of colour to me. Um, I waited till it was a bit cooler this afternoon, uh, but it's been really nice to be outside in the fresh air. Okay, so I'm going to get you down onto the table and um, hopefully if people are joining me, let me know what you've been up to today. I'm just going to get that camera into the core, herbs a daisy camera into the corner there and there we are so today i am playing with the set that i mentioned on um, on wednesday hi maxine raining we had a small shower yesterday just before we went to an open air concert we went to uh, paul weller in thetford's forest um and it's the first time i've been there for a concert and it's really really good it's a really nice evening so um yeah with sister-in-law and brother-in-law and uh david so it's really good so just my type is this stamp set here um i mentioned it on wednesday with sunday today i do lose track of the days um a little bit more with it than i was the other night so let's see what we can make with this okay so this was the new one that had just arrived on wednesday I haven't had diddly squat time to do any creating um, since Wednesday. So I've not been in, in here at all. So what I'm going to just do actually is just keep that page open, page 69 it was. I'm going to keep that open because that might add some dimension to what I'm going to do today. I've kind of got a few things in my head. But first of all, it's because I ripped this blast that plastic off. Have you, apart from, oh, so Maxine's had raining up in Scotland. How's everybody else been with the weather? Have you been out in the sunshine? I'm very pale skinned, but I've actually got some color. Like if you look at my arms, that's good color for me, as opposed to kind of white underneath. You can, well, it's not that bad, but um, yeah, I've definitely got more color than I usually do. Um, so these pieces here are the page that go in your typewriter and you can have any of the me these three messages, I think on there. Um, this is one with the corner turned over. We have the little um, rainbow. I kind of like the rainbow. There's a sample in the catalogue that I kind of like um, and was going to partially do some of that. I love this big greeting on here. It's really, really good. But I like the ones that actually go in the typewriter, which are thank you there. We've got for you up there. And then down here, we've got hi. Now, these ones here are all actually in one long thread and this says hello and it's like keys on the typewriter so that's i really want to use that tonight so we'll see where we go once these are all on here we can start there we go a little cup and a little envelope and here's my plastic that just rests over the top there to keep them all in place okay it is a standalone stamp set um, we don't have a dies or a punch or anything to go with it. Now, I am just going to try something with this. I'm going to get the hello out. You love this set. Joy, I need to see what you've done with it. There was somebody I had in mind to um, case, um, to case what they'd done, and I was talking to him about it, completely forgotten who it was, and now I can't find my mat. I had um, everything upside down last time, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab my stamparatus. All right, I'm going to take off what we were using at a WI last week. Take all of this off. Okay, you can leave that in there. But in here, you have a mat, and it's a little bit of stamping on there. But if we use this as a get those out of the way and we use this as a cushion, it works really well. So we're gonna start off with some white card. Now, I don't know for the life of me. <laughs> Move your trimmer girls, and guess what you find? You find a silicon mat and you find a proper mat. But if you haven't got a the stamp and pierce mat or you can't find where it is, you know you always have one left in your um, stamp answers there. So that's an emergency copy. So I've had to get another pack out I have this feeling I might have used up the last of that packet. So I can't find the pouch I keep them in, which is kind of makes me think it's around somewhere. But it's not between the um, table legs. I'm still at my makeshift table. So let's take one of those out. And I have to, a little test to do here. So I'm going to take a, a small strip out 
just the width to do these. So I'm kind of looking at placing this on here. There's an inch mark there. So if I do that, I'm looking at just under the inch. So let's go for an inch. Well, a little smidgen under. That is. Cut the strip off there. That's my first piece. There we go. So you can all see me. We're kind of in shot there, aren't we? If I shuffle over a little bit. So we're going to put those stamps onto here. Now I'll use this piece of my grid paper as my rough one, my tester. I'm just going to switch my phone off because that's jangling. I don't know why that's doing. Let's just swipe that. Swipe that. Oh, I'm switch off the ringers. No, it wants to tell me my heartbeat. There we go. Let's put it on sleep mode. Do not disturb. On. There we go. That shouldn't worry us anymore. So um, this is Berry Burst. I'm using the same palette, ca uh, colour palette as I did the other night. Um, I really like these colours. And I try and use sort of similar things for two, um, two, two per, um, live streaming. So this is, I stamped that upside down, but hey, you get the gist of it. So it smell, spells the word hello and as though they were typed on type keypad. Now, I have got something here. I haven't looked at the dies to see if we still have, we certainly don't have a punch, but whether we have any dies, these ones here might work, the stylish shapes. I haven't examined those to check. Um, anything else that's got circles in it, not really. I think it's going to be those. You might find the wheels on here, uh, on the motorbike, they might do. So you're looking at for something that is a similar size that's got a circle in it that might cut those for you. There's some in the kits as well, in the collections here as well. Oh, oops, Daisy, come back. Come back, come back. Another one. This one, there's some more circles in here in the Reach for the Stars dies. So there's some in there. So there's quite a few there to actually look at to see whether we can punch them out or cut them out. So I have here a three quarters of an inch punch. This is retired, so it's no longer available, but I just wanted to prove a point whether they would work. And I think that will work very well. Okay, it's on scrap paper, it's on gingham, but I think that that would work rather well. Or of course you just fussy cut around the outside. Okay, so that's my experiment. I'm happy with how that looked. So I'll stamp it the right way up just for the purposes of the camera. And I'm just gonna tap that on there. It doesn't need to happen very much because it's a new ink pad. It's very, very juicy. And stamp that down. Okay. You could of course always stamp this in different colors. So you can color each one of those or stamp several sets up. Because this is so juicy, I'm really not happy with that um, image on the end there because I think it's too juicy. So what I'm gonna do is to take my bone folder and I'm just gonna stroke it and smooth some of that ink out, massage it in a bit more. Sometimes this is a good trick to do with brand new ink pads, okay? We also have a chamois I'm going to clean that off on the chamois. I hope that doesn't stain too much, but I'll get my isopropanol alcohol on there later. So that's just cleaning that one up. I'm also going to clean my stamps because sometimes when they stamp ink up for the first time, it's a good idea just to wipe them down. Get any manufacturing materials off there. I'm going to cheat and just dry it on here. Okay, and then just tap very lightly. Okay, we don't want to have edges. Now, I might have had that end letter hanging over the edge of the ink pad then I went back and moved it around there might have been a diagonal line coming through there just that way so I'm going to try it again make sure I'm happy with the ink coverage looking at it there we go let's see what we do hold your breath and we go down again okay don't be afraid to stamp, stamp onto scrap paper and have another go at these so I'm going to cut that one in half there. Okay, put that aside. I'm not discarding it yet. But there are all my nice little letters. Can you see that? It's being overcast, few spots of rain. Hi Sue, hi Sandra, Claire. Hi Thetford. 
great you had a nice night too it was a very nice night yeah we were worried in the afternoon marilyn we saw the clouds um oh bless um yeah planets yeah they were the ones i was looking at so i think there would be small dies in there as well i don't have that set so it's just a case of look around see what you've got and see what can be used okay but i've got the three quarter punch if any of you are hardened stampers and you have our previous punches then that's going to be a good one for you okay so we could leave them all intact or we could punch them out like this so because i've got the three quarter punch it's a little bit less than three quarters so if you've got something a little bit smaller that would work well okay so i'm just lining those up i'll try not to lose any okay just space those out holding my breath as i punch i've wolfed some dinner down very very quickly maria had done some um some dumplings with pork mince and i wolfed a few of those down and then i said i've got to go i've got to run so there's my hello my little buttons okay so they're my little typewriter keys so really like those you could like I say do them in rainbow colors you can do in different colors so that's those ones um and i'm also going to stamp let's build up from the bottom shall we like i normally like to do so i think this one is going to have a pebbled path for the background so we need to make ourselves a base no i'm not sure now what do we do on the last one we did start off with a, on the last one on, on wednesday we started with a white base um i think i might start with the i might go with the pink let's see how it looks i might go with the Okay, we've got one of those cut already so let's start with one of those we're going to have a pebbled path layer in here somewhere okay and we're also going to have a um, berry burst layer so it's just a case of which way around i'd like to have these okay we can have that we could have it that way around and then we're going to have a white on top so I always like to just lay these up and just see how we're going with our colours. So you've seen me do it a few times. We might even cut one of those out. Let's try it with just that one and that one. I think that might be enough. I think that's going to be too many layers if we put anything else in. So let's go for those, I think, for now. So there's our base card. Okay. And then we're going to have this one um, about a centimetre less. So if I write on here 14.85 by 10.5, we'll go a centimetre less. So 14 point, uh, oh, 13.8 times 9.5. And then we'll go 13.3 times 9.3. Um, yes. Half a mil, yeah, we'll go by nine. Let's we'll try those ones, shall we? I always like to write them down because then you can kind of know where you're heading and then if you want to change it, you can change it from those measurements. So we're gonna go this way at nine and a half. Okay. No, you're not late at all, don't worry. Nice to see you all. So that was nine and a half by 13.8. Okay, that so that's going to go there we'll be, build this up to the side and then we'll have a white layer 13.3 by 9 13.3 yes we saw the clouds come over yesterday and we had a little shower just before we set off but by the time that just was a very very slight drizzle it wasn't very much at all and um, it was a really nice evening no cardigans or jackets needed at all very good okay so we've got some layers on there now okay like so and like so and then what we're going to be doing on here we're going to have the typewriter we want some scraps to stamp the typewriter on this one here so let's grab a block for that shall we so typewriter here there we go now I'm going oh it's not really big enough is it 
I kind of need a bigger block. No bigger blocks on the table. Yes, yeah, so we go. Let's take these ones off here. Let's bear with. Oh, it's from last time. Okay, I think we're there. So pick this one up. So this is the typewriter on its own, and then we have the piece of paper separately to stamp over the edge. So I'm going to take that that way on. Okay. And again, this is the first time it's been used, so I'm going to ink it up and stamp it on a piece of paper first. So I think this one kind of makes it look a little bit neutral. Um, typewriters tend to be grey, silvery grey type textures, so I'm just going to stamp that on there. Make sure there's no ridges so you're getting a good impression. And that is really, really good. And there we go. So I'm just going to carry on, ink that up with the um, oh, pebble path trouble with these new ones because they just come out they are extremely juicy okay. there we go now we'll leave that just to rest a bit and we will let that dry and then we'll cut that one out shortly so just dry that one off with my um, chamois Put that over there and then we're gonna have the piece of paper that goes around the top now um, there's two on here. There's this one with the corner turned over, which I, I like that one because it looks like it's sort of sticking up a bit. And there's a plain one. Then we have thank you, your, for you and hi. Um, I'm going to do thank you. So we're going to do the corner up. Um, these aren't going to be in proportion. They're just going to be naturally on there as I want them to be. And then the sentiment inside. Thank you. We can all do with thank you cards, can't we? Okay, and pop that one in the paper. On there. Now they're going to be fussy cut, so just to make sure that they're kind of in proportion and look like they're straight. I'm going to pick those up. <laughs> yes, Joy. My room is always, well, very rare, yes. Oh, is it always? Well, yes. Um, yes. It's always got stuff out. Very rarely is it tidy. Um, I'm hoping that's going to change. Oh, yes, things are a changing. Okay, so we will get we will get there. So I'm going to put that on there. Um, and while Joy's twerking on here as well, Joy's ch chiming in here. Um, I'm just going to remind you that in two weeks' time, just under two weeks, we have our global inspiration. <coughs> Excuse me global inspiration stamp team night um well 24 hours we've got um presentations from uh, canada Amer america and uk and um we do presentations it runs about every two months okay so you can have um there'll be some on friday night and some on our saturday morning so different times around the globe depending on where you're watching from uh grab my glasses and i'm going to cut these out Okay, so just trim that one down for a minute. So while I'm talking to you about gist, um, I have just nominated what stamp set I'm going to be using. I kind of have an idea, but I need to do a prototype, which I'm hoping to get done tomorrow. Um, we've just had quite a lot going on at the moment. And um, yeah, it's just been one of those times. Um, I wasn't quite with it on Wednesday, um, but I bounced back on Friday. It's amazing... Sometimes you just need to speak to the right people who can just point you in the right direction. And I was very, had a very interesting day on Friday, which really, really cheered me up and really, yeah, knocked me into place. And about 10 minutes after I got home, Mandy and Glyn and Mel turned up. So they were here for the weekend, which was really nice. So I could chill, relax and, um, yeah, get back on my feet and, and have some time out. So I'm trying to be good and taking some time out. Some of you might notice I stopped posting at the end of the week. Just could not get time for me. And um, yeah, the weekend certainly made up for it. We had a really nice time. Um, and waiting to sort a day out where Mel can come over and stay in the summer holidays. So that will mean a couple of visits. One to pick up and one to drop off, which is really looking, we're all looking forward to. 
uh, just got to work out which week that's going to be and then we'll spend a weekend with Mandy and Glyn as well so let's get me around here fussy cutting you see those of you who haven't seen me lately I, I swivel I keep my scissors still and I swivel on my my fingers here moving the card there we go so there's our little typewriter okay missed the comments yeah so i'm working on my card design for globals at the end of the week yes that's it next at the end of next week um yes i kind of have a plan in my head as to what mine's going to be i was asking jackie what she was using so we didn't use the same set and um we that was hers was on my list but we've um, i had a couple of others that i wasn't decided so i'm um, i think i've got my plan oh and as we talk it is chucking it down didn't we have just the best weekend here it's been apart from that tiny little shower saturday yesterday before we went to the concert um it's been really really fantastic i've been out gardening this afternoon late when it got cooler and now the rain comes so that's really good I can water all the plants so this is our piece of paper that's going to kind of look like it's sitting in the top there and i'm going to put some pads underneath here just to raise it up a bit i might even raise it twice might put double pads on there so that's what that's going to look like in here but i kind of want to put some background on my card now i don't really Mm, I haven't really decided on what I want to do. Um, there's a couple of um, greetings in here. I hope your day is filled with sunshine and rainbows. And that can be with a thank you as well. So I kind of do like that sentiment. I'm kicking myself for not grabbing a glass of water after, after dinner. Because I do feel like I'm a bit hoarse today. So here's, <clears throat> here's our greeting. I'm going to grab hold of that. That is ready to, in fact, let's just lay that on here. Is that going to fit on there? Just. That's going to ensure that I put that onto, directly onto my card. Um, I can't put a matte layer on there because it won't, unless I hang it off the ends, I'm just happy to put that straight on the bottom there. So if I had my typewriter there and my letters come up like so, you know what, I've done my hello. I might not use that one. I might have to save that for another card. So, I have some ideas with this. It's a case of placement. Let's just bring this over. We have hello down here, okay? Because they were all nicely spaced with a layer in between. Okay, we can have those hanging off the edge to give some definition on the side here. We don't have to go inside the lines at all. Okay, so that's one there. We have this one with some pads. I'm going to put some along there now and then we'll know what we're looking at. Okay, so you know how... Oh, note cards. That's not dimensionals. Oh. Luckily, I have a packet here. Look. There we go. So put a couple of those along there. And I think, like I said, I think that's going to have to be raised. And I think I want to put, oops, I think I want to put doubles on here. Let me just take that off. Take those off and put another one over the top. Okay, directly over the top. There we go. It wants to kind of look like the bottom is down here and the top is raised as though it's coming out of the typewriter. So that's done. So that's double double whammy on there. Okay, so that's that. But the background, I really want to put some words across the background. What I was thinking of was the rainbow. The rainbow on here to have that in lots of um, shaded colours but again I think that's going to have to wait for another another card let's see the little flower I think it's going to be this little one in here I think we can do some of those but in a very very pale colour let's just lift that one up and we've still got you Go grab a drink so you don't have that irritating throat. Oh, bless you. I don't want to keep you hanging in. Oh, bless. I'll soldier, I'll soldier through. I'll just have a croak. 
There's nothing in here I can... Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. Just a sec. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Zanna. I have the urn in here, and of course, obviously, when the water um, is switched off, emboss the background. There's an idea, um, Pam. Yes, I think I might actually, because I was going to put the little flower over there, but yes, I think an embossing folder will do that lovely. My urn is, is sitting over there, and there's always there's water in it, so um, I've got some, some water. So, cheers. Where am I? Over here, where's the camera? There, cheers. Yes, and I do know it makes sense. So thanks for that. And I must remember that there's cold water in there. And let's grab an embossing folder. See what we've got in the drawer. And we've got typewriting on there. So what's going to be good with typewriting? I do have a new favourite. Let's bring that one on the table. Okay sure if this one if one of these is going to be still current so let me just glance to the back of the catalog my new favorite is the exposed brick um, I can tell you that straight away so painted texture I th oh no painted texture is there that's going to be the one we use then um, exposed brick is definitely a favorite of mine now this one here it's got it's a bit like time-worn type which is still here um, but it's got the brick effect in there I'm going to blame this on all the dust last night. Excuse me. And the dust of doing the gardening. So exposed brick is my favourite. But the te texture, te uh, painted texture gives us that sort of like paper, kind of like walled texture, whatever. So let's use that one. Thanks again, Pam. I think that's a great idea. Sometimes seen on the screen from a distance, you get a different viewpoint to me, and that makes perfect sense. So I need to take out my shim, because we don't want to emboss. And we're gonna have, this is a thicker embossing folder. Let me move you over. So it tells me on here that I want to have the embossing folder always fold in first. And we're gonna have the gray plate number four on the top. So let's run that one through. Go. there we go look at that so that's painted texture for you so let's start building this i think we're going to put these layers down um have i got anything i want to cut out of the middle do i have a punch on the table probably not tell you what I can do. Not using them today, but the one to say, because you know I don't like to waste, I like to make a maximum use. Let's have the, um, we'll do the happy birthday. We'll do an innie and an outie just to take out of that layer just to um, make sure that we optimize our there we go that will work that way because we're only going to see a little tiny window on the outside edge there so bring that machine back we're not using it on this card it's purely for saving waste and making use of our middle so my sandwich is one of the, the um, plates two plates on the bottom my layer in there and another glass one on the top making sure we keep the edges free 
we don't want to see the edges um, cut <coughs> Just roll that back again, actually, just for good measure. Take those out. And we have a couple of these we can just pop in our tray, back in the pouch with the dies. There's the bottom layer. And then here's gonna be the top layer. So, oh. I've lost happy some. see where happy went it's definitely not a happy in there is there tell me I'm not going around the twist that's crazy silly crazy it's not on the plate oh it's okay it's down there it's still on the die on the cutting plate don't worry we'll solve we'll solve that one that mystery later so I'm just going to take those off and put the dies away and put those two back into the pack with the dies. Okay, put them away and they will just stay in there. When I get time, I'll just pop a little cello in there and all my spares, random pieces will go in there as well. So they're ready to use. Back to my card. And we have Tombow here. <coughs> so we just go around those edges. Okay down the side through the middle little dot on some of these middle pieces just to keep them anchored down there we go. no one's gonna see it okay because I'm gonna ele um, elevate I'm gonna uh, raise different elements of this I'm making all of this flat okay and then the other elements can be raised okay so this is just gonna go over the top this is the painted texture Just had thunder oh dear yes it's that strange weather time we always have random weather don't we okay. and summer's no different so bring these back again where i kind of like them i liked my hello coming off the edges check if that h has got a right and a wrong way i'm really not sure h e l l so hello and thank you there we go, that's all we need. So, little trick with this. If we want these ones to be on here like this, I'm going to raise those and I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of each one. Okay, just make sure you can see me in there. So I'm gonna turn these all over and we'll grab a bigger pile if we can. I had them on the table here and I picked that up and that was dimensionals, wasn't it? Hiding underneath. Well, anything's possible. Anything, anything will do. Definitely note cards. Okay, I'll start another one. I get through so many of these, I won't be outdone. Just start a new packet. These are one of my favourite tools. Um, the adhesives um, because they just are so good to release they just they just come off so easily so because of the size of these I'm going to put one of these on each letter so these are the big ones okay if we put a little one on it'll be a bit wobbly it won't you know it'll rock from side to side it won't be nice and firm so hey there we go they're gone so I always start if you're starting enter anything that's got if you've got a title and you want to put something um, equal distance, always start with the middle, okay? We have five letters here. Um, so I'm gonna take that middle letter, which should be an L, and I'm gonna place that in the middle here. So I just want it overlapping that slightly, just to break that edge. So there's my L, that's roughly in the center. Okay, now we go either side. So we have the other L coming underneath, and this sets the, the gap that we want to use. So we want to have that gap. So it's spreading itself out. 
and then we do the one above it. So we're working either side of that centre letter. So look at that gap and then eyeball it to be roughly the same. And then we'll come top and bottom again. Okay, so we'll have one there, about the same distance as before. Take that one off. And again, we'll have the same distance as before. If anybody has any of those other sets, just to help each other along, and you can see what the dimensions are of those circles that we can help. We're looking for about three quarters of an inch or less. Okay, so if you've got um, any of those sets and you can have a look, then do feel free later, as and when, just to pop it in the comments for us. So there's my typewriter, so that can come on there. That can be raised up as well. Okay, so the bottom has got some dimension. Three and four. And then this one will be showing at an angle. And I'll tell you how we'll do that. Okay, nice little typewriter. Now I'm going equal distance to the gap that I've got left. Okay, like that. This one because these are all raised up, I'm going to put a little tiny drizzle of Tombow along the edge. So I'm taking off the top layer here. This is when I love my mat here because it does help me keep those little wretched little pieces under control. And I'm gonna just put a little, little line of Tombow along the bottom. Okay, so that will go down straight onto here. And I'm gonna tuck it under so it's coming out of the machine like so. Even Stevens, press on that bottom edge with your um, the edge of your tweezers or a to uh, even your bone folder will work on there. And so we're adhering it down along here. So it's going to come flat there. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. Along there, and then these are raised. Okay, so it's going to look sideways on. You've got, I don't know if you can see that. You see there's a little bit of a red ledge in there. Okay, so that's my um, finished piece there. We're not quite done yet because we have some little flowers on there. So these little flowers and there's a little heart as well. So I'm going to see if I can grab another small block. Again, move these, Joy. Move from one block to the other. The time you have to be really careful is when you get those tiny, tiny little pieces and you don't just put them down somewhere. Okay. So we have the little flower, we have scraps of white. I know we have scraps here. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp a little flower in yellow. I love the yellow, this is um, lemon lolly. And I love this with this the pink and the um, pebble path as well. So we just stamp some of those, a couple of those. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same with the greenery. Got some nice greenery in here, okay. Now this one is one that might be awkward to fussy cut. If we're going on to a white background, I'm not overly concerned because I will we'll see what I do. This isn't going to be big enough. Take that. I have some more scraps here. I cut these for a reason and I can't remember why, but they're coming in handy tonight. So that's the bottom. Oops, a daisy. That was lucky. Missed my card. Okay. Let's stamp one of those in there. There we go. It's a bit bobbly because it's, again, it's a new stamp. First time of inking. That's better. So just clean that off. I try not to hang on to the ink on here too long because that does help us stop to the staining process. Okay, another slip. <coughs> there we go. So, these little flowers and this little piece of grass, I just wanna have somewhere um, on here. Even if it's in the corner, they might, that might be too big actually. The heart instead. Bring that back. And very mm -hmm. burst has disappeared. That it's hiding under Wednesday's card. So 
I'm just going to ink this up again with a little heart. I think the little heart might be better than the greenery. Oh, look at that. It's cute. Let's just stamp two. Nice clean. And then the yellow, I think. We'll try the yellow in that one as well. If in doubt, do two or three and then work with what you like best. Always a good rule of thumb, that one. Okay. And a piece of scrap. Don't stamp on a ridge. Where you, if you overlap pieces, then you'll you'll get a little ridge there. Okay, dope. let's see what we can do with these. Might not need that one. The flowers are very, very delicate. Um, I think they might be too delicate, but we're going to try one of these. I'm just going to cut it out freehand because it's a pastel colour. There's not really much white round here. Just keep that edge going. Move your scissors. It might look hard to see on the camera, um, but I can see this okay with my glasses on. So I'm just going around the edge of that flower. You could, of course, always stamp it in a slightly darker colour onto lemon lolly card. It's another trick that I do. Just catching up. You love it. Oh, bless. So Joy and I are going to catch up face to face, aren't we, in um, Vegas in August. There's a lot of um, leaders I'm going to catch up with, which I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody. So there's a little flower. Okay, that looks really cute. So then we'll cut the heart. And again, I think I'll cut that right close to the edge. No white edge. Okay, so I'm just holding the scissors there, trimming that round. Again, you can stamp this on a paler, paler colour and um, then leave a little tiny border. So this could be stamped onto the um, bubble bath card. Just experiment, okay? So let's just try these for size. Laying these onto the computer, the, the typewriter there somewhere or just a little on the keyboard there. Not sure that that's going to be very strong enough for me. I don't have the don't have the blends in that colour, but I did put my bring my ben, blends caddy over. So let's just have a dig around and have a mooch in here, and maybe colour that in with a what have we got daffodil delight. Let's just see how that goes. If we colour this in, so you've got a, a one tone on the outside and one tone on the inside. In fact, I might just obliterate all of that, mightn't I? Okay, so if I colour all of it in. Okay, we have still got a little faint line around the outside. And then we can put a gem in the centre. Okay, so we're just squeezing that in there. And put them on that side perhaps. And then the heart in the yellow. Sorry, I'm pulling off the camera. So by fussy cutting these round when there's no dyes, if you've got a dye in another set or a little punch from something, then by all means just cheat. It's not cheating really. It's just playing with what materials you have. Okay. And then this one could just come out with a little double whammy under there. Two little hearts just twinkling on there and a gem in the centre of there. And I think we're, we're about right, aren't we? So I'd like to have that one under there. Those two overlapping like so. So I'll just put some Tombow on the edge of this. Like so. So it sticks over the edge. Bearing in mind we've got the double mat on here. We don't want to make it thicker. Then this one can just have the bottom portion. So put some Tombow on the bottom. Have that sticking out like so. So it's on that slope going up the back. Then this one can be just a little dot in the middle. 
and just over the corner of a keyboard there. Use the middle of your lid just to hold that in place and keep it um, just held in the middle there. And then we have gems, which I did have here. In front of me. So then it's a case of what, which gems would we like? Just put something in the centre and a few of those up the back. That's more freesia in there. I do like it, but it's more freesia. That is... No, that's Moody Mauve. Oh, we've got some yellow ones in there. They would work. <coughs> or some brass ones. How about those? Because they look like... Um, I like those. They look like um, keys, don't they, on the typewriter. So maybe we pop one of those in the center of that flower. Make sure we pick up the glue underneath and that's just gonna sit in there. Oh, look, isn't that good? Love it. Okay, I do think they're too chunky to put a few dotties on the back. Okay, what do you think? You have had that clingy round, nothing to shout about. That tends to be the way, doesn't it? So remember that the um, the rhinestones we can colour. So let's grab that yellow back. If we've got the alcohol markers, any alcohol markers, well, you can colour. So we go over the top and round the sides. Okay. This one, because it's the pale colour, I'm going to just up that a little bit. <coughs> Dark so saffron. I'm going to bring this under the under the camera just so you can see. This is my bag of blends. There's rather a lot in there, but it's one of the makeup cases with handles. They're jolly handy to taking out to functions. You really want to keep them laying horizontally. Um, so by keeping them this way, they do light so saffron, dark so saffron. I'm looking for a darker yellow. Sorry, girls. There we go. Right buried at the bottom. Um, I'm using the bigger tip and I'm just going to go over. The <coughs> this is really mushed. Can you see this tip? Look at that tip on there. It's really mushed. Um, I'm going to leave that one out because I'm going to need to get another refill, for, uh, a replacement for that one. Let's just take this. I don't know what it is. It's probably mango yes i think it's mango doesn't matter it is a retired color i'm just trying to get that tiniest little bit of yellow on there and the darker shades do work better so i am going over the top and round the sides okay <coughs> it is only that tiniest little piece on there but it's just going to keep that yellow coming through okay in the olden days i'd have used my champagne ones but of course they've retired sadly so just randomly dotted they're not perfectly clear they've just got a bit of color to them just a couple there and there we go and i think that will do us okay those can all go in there get them out of the way and i think i'm happy with that that's really quite nice for my first attempt with um the stamp set buried Sandra, where did you put it? Put my blends on it. There we go. Ladies, I'm... Yes, there it is. <laughs> I've put my gems inside the case, which doesn't really help, does it? So there we go. So there's just my type. There's your stamp set. And there are your, your card. Just your card. Okay. I really, really like that. I do need to put a liner in there. So I'm going to slide that aside and cut a piece of card for the liner. Because it's a coloured base, 
we need to be conscious of that. So I'm going to do nine and a half by 13.8. 13.8, there we go. And that's going to sit inside. And of course, we can stamp just it on along the side there. We can put something on here. So not to be left out, let's bring this over and stamp something on there. What would we like to put? We've still got the keyboard. And... we could keep that just inside okay so i'm just inking that one off up off camera there and i'm going to stamp that one i don't need silicon mat just stamp that along the bottom here okay it's kind of that like a metallic-y looking it's a gray um like i said before it's not quite it's not really a dark gray it's i i call it my i love gray granite so i call it my um dark gray granite uh, so the the polished um, pebble path is like a dark gray granite so we're just going to pop that inside just to have a little bit of continuity in there and fix that in there so we've got something to write on with our sentiment little in little pop that in and then remember those extra little pieces we cut we had an extra heart and an extra oh dear two hearts got one there and one there i must just do those to fill in the middle okay i'm not gonna put any pads on this because when it's on the inside um you don't want to have any extra bulk because otherwise your card won't close properly so I'm cutting inside the lines on here so I don't get any white edges. Okay, just very, very slightly on the inside. Come around there. So going back to our gist, our theme for gist this time is fun in the sun. So it's all going to be anything fun in the sun. And like I said, that's the weekend, Friday and Saturday in two weeks time. We try to have very loose themes so that we can all use products we have and it's not too restrictive for presenters or for customers, just to give you a lot of variety. So there are those two little hearts and I think I'm going to do the same as I did on the front. Just put them somewhere on the side maybe. The yellow one underneath. Just a little tiny bit on there. Like so. so you can see the edge of the key return. And then this one on the back. And it's gone through on the back of the card because it's it's um the blend. There we go. Two little hearts. There we go. If you want to put it ah oh, oh drat. I've just smudged that because I've got ink on my fingers. It's just taken that ink. Let's quickly lift that one off. Okay, leave that for now. What I'm going to do is stamp another one. I've got to show you a fix. That one slid. I've got ink on my fingers and it's picked up the ink. But we can fix that because if we stamp another heart onto a scrap of this one, show you the fix then that helps you guys as well okay there's the ink pad there's my berry burst stamp that on there and then we've got one to cut out because my my thumb stuck to the ink it slid and then it picked up the ink so this is going to be a little bit darker one Okay, but I'm just cutting around that. So it's Berry Burst ink on Berry Burst card. Look at the difference. Because it, it's giving it a double, double whammy of the Berry Burst. Okay, so there's going to be our little heart. With no glue on it at all. Keeping my fingers out of the way. You can see that, that can cover that up. Okay, 
So I will just put a little tiny bit on there. I'm going to place that over that splodge, like so. It's exactly where the other one was, but I slid it, didn't I? And it went over there. So there we go. We have three hearts on that one. Nice little happy accident. <laughs> yeah, the hearts are fun. Lovely card. Oh, thank you. Oh, I know these are good. There's a bigger bag now too. Which is the bigger bag, Zanna? I'm not sh quite sure what you're talking about. You can send me a, a message or, or put another comment on here. Not quite sure what you mean by that one. So um, there's my um, replacement done. If you wanted to, you could still put the greeting in there. You could stamp another happy um, thank you or, or a little message in there. Or just leave the space for people to write in. Okay? Quite happy. Please that that happens because then that lets me correct it and show you how you can correct little happy accidents. Okay? So there we go. Um, all sorted. All rebuilt. And um, ready to go. Okay, doke. So let me bring you back to me. There you go. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me. Um, remember that the offers that are on at the moment, the 15% um, off the designer series paper, that's running to the end of the month. That's not the speciality ones, it's just all the, the bog standard ones. And then the um, uh, joining offer. So I've had people take advantage of that already. If your wish list is more than £99 um, and you want to have £154 worth of product for your £99, then get in touch with me. OK, it's got to be done before the end of the month. OK, you can um, continue as a demonstrator. You need to have a small minimum quarter, quarterly in, uh, minimum, and then you can enjoy your discounts um, and never pay full price again. So um, take advantage of that. Do give me a call. Um, send me a message and I'll get back to you. We can have a face-to-face -face call um, uh, or get together. Okay, so take care um, and...